The legendary shoot 'em up series Cotton is back from the dead. Not only is it back from the dead, it actually has a remake. Cotton Reboot is here, a remake of the original classic. On top of that, we're blessed here in the US that we got a proper US port and a physical release too. How well is the remake? Is it worth adding to your collection? I go over it all in today's video. <laughs> Cotton Fantastic Night Dreams was a scrolling shooter developed by Success and originally released in the arcades in 1991. The game proved to be pretty popular and there were multiple ports since then to such consoles like the TurboGrafx CD, PlayStation, and the Sharp X68000. Here in the States we were only blessed with a TurboGrafx CD port and that has become very expensive since its release way back in the day. The game features some RPG-like elements with heavy use of magic attacks. The gameplay made for a very fun shoot 'em up that spawned several sequels, but by the time the 90s were over, the series was pretty much dead. But flash forward to 2021 and the series is no longer dead, and here we are with Cotton Reboot that not only features a port of the X86000 version of Cotton, but we get a whole new remake of the classic too. First, we'll start with the range mode, which is the redesigned version of the original game. It features proper 16x9 widescreen with updated visuals. The gameplay has been revamped too, as it's much faster and Cotton can shoot a lot more bullets too. The whole game is a lot more chaotic and borderlines a bit on bullet hell territory. Regardless, I actually find this game easier than the original, mainly because of Cotton being able to fire off a gazillion amount of bullets but she is also able to get magic at a much faster rate than the original game. This combination allows you to really mow down those enemies at a pretty frantic pace. And speaking of frantic pace, this game also touts a thing called Frenzy Mode, that when the gauge in the bottom left becomes 100%, you're able to press the Frenzy Mode button and really maximize your point potential and score a lot of points. This alone will make this game a high score chaser's dream. The soundtrack has been updated too, and features a whole new arranged soundtrack. In addition to that, there's a score attack mode that features 2 minute and 5 minute variants that have you chasing the best high score you can muster. This mode features an arena like environment and tons of enemies to face. Finally, the Sharp X68000 version is here too, which was highly acclaimed back in the day as one of the better ports of the arcade version. Going from the arranged mode to this version, you'll see this one is much tougher just like its arcade counterpart. Cotton was never an easy shooter and it will quickly remind you why that was the case. All three selections also have online rankings so you can see how you compare to the rest of the world. A welcomed feature. As far as options go, both for the new arranged mode and X68000 versions have options you can set to make the game easier or harder add more lives, as well as select some unlockable characters that you can earn through playing. Some options can disable the leaderboards and the game will tell you if adjusting a setting will do that. All in all, I'm really happy that this was made. Look, $40 might seem a little steep at first plus for a shoot 'em up, but considering that this is a miracle that this was even made, much less actually brought over to the states, I'm amazed it actually even happened. I do wish they added some ports of the original game, like the Turbo CD version in addition to the X68000 version that we got. It would have made for the ultimate Cotton 1 reboot. Regardless, I would understand if you want to wait for a sale for the digital version as, yeah, 40 bucks is a little bit much compared to some of the other shooters on the eShop. I do highly recommend that physical version for that collection's sakes, which is out at the same price as the digital version. It's going to be the cheapest way possible you'll ever get Cotton 1 physically in your collection, by far. I'm a long time fan of shoot 'em ups and Cotton is one of my favorite arcade shooters. If you're a fan of shoot 'em ups and looking to dive into the history, as well as kind of revisit a classic favorite, you really need to get this game in your collection. And while I'm sometimes always apprehensive when they update a classic or remake it or go for a range mode like in this case, 
Cotton Reboot is actually really spot on and I've been loving the heck out of the Arrange mode. And if you're looking for more cotton goodness or more shoot 'em up goodness, I'm paying close attention to another release that's coming later this year in Japan. That release is called Cotton Guardian Force Saturn Tribute, which is supposed to arrive in September in Japan and features Cotton 2, Cotton Boomerang, and Guardian Force. I really hope we get a port of this to the States as those games were never brought over here and are highly expensive to import. They also feature a ton of new features too. Fingers are crossed. And that's all I have for Cotton Reboot. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up as it helps out this video, helps out the channel, and if you're not a subscriber, consider subscribing. I put out a bunch of videos here each and every week, as well as some streams. I do a bunch of Nintendo Switch stuff, a little bit of retro stuff, as well as some other games as well. And of course, I like to give a shout out to the Kaiju Club Patrons. These guys help to finance the channel, help to bring videos and content to you guys. If you wish to become a Patreon member and get a shout out at the end of every video as well as streams, Check out the link on the screen right now. It's also in the description box down below. Pledges to start at $1. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. I hope you have a wonderful day. And I will catch you next time.